hey guys welcome back to my channel so did you wake up this morning and choose to be victim or overcomer because today i chose overcomer and i hope you did too so yes you guys i am headed to get my hair done today um like i said before i am frustrated um i made progress with my hair and then the last month the beautician like he damaged my hair so i did find a new stylist they're all natural they use natural products a lot of times their own hairline um and i'm giving them a shot and they all have long beautiful natural hair now my hair is growing because my roots are curled but this is not and so i watched it like maybe four days ago because we went to a water park so it's still not curling and now it's like it's dry so i have to figure out what i can do with that because i can't have no dry hair um but yeah so i am going to talk to her about that she's really 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 sweet and i thought i'd bring you guys along because i'm also I've been, you know, really sticking to my budget, but I had told myself when I scheduled this appointment, like two weeks ago, I had told myself, there's a kava down the street, you won't have the kids, you can go eat and get you some kava, enjoy, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm leaving a little early so I can go get my kava, but yes, you guys, I just wanted to check in with you. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. My skin has like that tint from the sunscreen but it's all right um i am using a new facial line so i put on extra moisturizer and extra sunscreen because my skin be acting crazy when it's first adjusting to new stuff but i really think that is helping so i'm gonna you know use it for at least a month and then i'll let you guys know what it is um if i see good results but i feel like it's already working i've been using it since not even a week yet i think it's been like five days or something like that so let me head on to kava blast my music enjoy my ride hope you guys are enjoying your day and let's get started all right guys i feel back to normal hair is done so yes i'm doing it in these until it grows out some and then i'll do a big chop because it is heat damage but i just love the salon i love like that they're all natural that work there and they really take their time they use products that you don't usually see at other salons like the denman brush they will sit and detangle your hair for an hour my hair doesn't need that long but i've seen them like do that to women and so she recommended like no heat no nothing for me to either wear wigs or these um with the bun so if anybody has any recommendations out there um for easy to install wigs um leave it down in the comments box below also i don't want to spend an arm and a leg because i'm going there like every three weeks so i would only wear a wig like probably for a week because these usually last like two weeks and then i wash it so i don't want to spend big money but i don't want it to look plasticky or cheap or anything like that so if you have any suggestions leave it down in the comments box below but i am here at kava um i don't get to come here often because there's not one by us so i'm about to go in here and eat i may take it to go because i'll beat traffic if i leave soon so i'm gonna go ahead probably take it to go go home relax um maybe do some work with the kids and then we have gymnastics tonight and yeah i have to still cook dinner so i probably am going to take it to go but let's get in here get my bowl so i can go Hey guys so i wanted to come on here real quick before i go into the house 
Um, I have been reading an audio audiobook about fascinating it's titled fascinating womanhood for the timeless woman and the original version was written by the, the author of the story i'm reading's mother um back i believe it was when like i'm trying to think like the woman's movement was going on and it was controversial back then because she challenged a lot of women's mindsets and I am victim of really having that mindset and it affecting just the way that I am and mentally how I take on things in my marriage or as a mother, my responsibilities in the home. I work very hard, you know, I have my degrees, like... And sometimes it's hard to turn it off. And I have been in prayer, honestly, just being straightforward. I have been in prayer and I still am on like, God, help me to be more submissive. Help me to embrace like my journey because I'm in therapy. And I realized like things that happened in childhood affect me so strongly things that I didn't even notice affected me but I need a lot of help to work it out in me and in my life so um I've been in prayer with God like to help transform me help transform my thinking and my thoughts in this book I heard about it through someone that I started following on YouTube and um she talks a lot about like homemaking and the Christian perspective and I've been in prayer to like change my mindset not that I don't want to look nice or you know go travel have fun but also that my home is my first um priority my first mission you know and my first thing that I should prioritize and so that book has been really good you guys I recommend the book it you have to have an open mind though. You really have to have an open mind because it will challenge your thoughts, especially in this time and age where, you know, a lot of women are taught that we can do just as much as men, that we can make more than men, that we can, you know, live the life we want. We can do what we want. And it, that is true. It's very much capable. It's, it, it, it's very much real. But if you're trying to put your marriage and your life and your mindset more aligned with God which is what I've been praying for that book will really really help you they go into all kinds of topics and issues and it's been very eye-opening but I just wanted to come on here and share that title with you guys because yeah I was about to walk in the house eat my kava and um probably clean up a little bit before I start dinner so that we can go to gymnastics tonight and then um, we have an anniversary dinner type thing um, tomorrow. So maybe I'll bring you guys along for that. And yeah, we've been married 11 years. And um, I will be honest, like the last couple of years have been years where I've learned what it really looks like to be a wife to my husband, what he's needing and and honestly, this last year has become a year of me like saying, okay, we got past seven year itch, you know, we made it to year 10. I want, if this is who I chose to live a lifetime with, I want it to be as beautiful as it can be. So the work starts with me. And so, yeah, I have to work on me. So. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm about to go in here, eat my kava. I'm sure the kids are going to bombard me when I get in the door. So, but I've been gone for a couple of hours. So that's expected and I have to appreciate it. So got my time free. Let's get in here and be a mama. All right, guys, I'm home. Show you my kava bowl. So good, guys. I wish there was one in my town, but there's not. I don't put a lot of the, the, the hot sauce stuff on it, but I just put a little. Cause the chicken is spicy in itself. But I love Chipotle already. So this is like, 
it, like, like, I don't know, fancy Chipotle. I mean, I'm going to eat, and I'm probably going to, um, hmm. Um, Leah, Leah, don't feed him, please. <laughs> but I'm going to eat, and then I need to get the kids' clothes out because my son like to dress himself. And he keep putting on winter clothes. I don't know what's up with this generation of kids. Because he ain't the only one. It's 100 degrees outside. What are you wearing? But anyways, guys, I'm going to enjoy this late lunch. I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So we are back home. Practice went really good. She did really well. She enjoyed it. I didn't want to like record because there's other kids there and it's hard to only get a clip of just her. So yeah, but she enjoyed it. Um, I'm making just some chicken wings and french fries, you guys. Something quick, easy. Um, I had thought about eating out and the kids asked about eating out, but we want to like try to, for me as well, understand and for them to understand that you can't have it all. So you want to start having activities. I know tomorrow they probably want to go do their bowling thing and stuff like that. You want to start having activities. You want to spend money on other things. That's fine. But you can't have it all. So we have to, you know, decide whether we're going to eat at home and go do something fun tomorrow. Or, you know, whether you're going to pay for this activity like this weekend, there's... There's dues due for football and stuff like that. Like all of the responsibilities that we have, we want to teach them that it's all good and grand, but you have to prioritize. And so if you have food at home, go ahead and just cook at home and pay for the things that, you know, you're wanting. So I'm just shaking up the chicken wings. They're in here. My air fryer is getting old, you guys. I think it's like three years old. I love this thing. I use it. It's probably like one of the most used besides my coffee machines, like kitchen appliance that I have. I love it, you guys. I have another one that does like rotisserie chickens and stuff like that and dehydrate stuff. And I use that every once in a while. But this one, you guys, I got it on sale at Macy's like three years ago and I promise you there's probably not a week that goes by that I don't use it for something so got the french fries here Michael likes them in oil versus the air fryer so I'm just frying some french fries up and then I need to work in my planner tonight and I have to fold this bedding which is just some sheets um so that won't take long and then I need to try to, my task tonight, every night I've been giving myself something to do. My task tonight is to try to clear off this dining room table. So I'll be working on that tonight. I'll probably make me a matcha latte after dinner and try to knock that out while the kids clean up their room. That'll be my goal. But yes, you guys, I'm really just trying to live the best life that I can and realizing that everything that we're given we have to make the best of it and that takes a lot of work right that takes work on our part to realize like hey people didn't just wake up and enjoy life people don't just wake up and and financially be secure people don't just wake up and and go buy everything that they're wanting and so i have to get to a point where i'm able to prioritize i'm able to make things happen so that's what I'm on right now is just trying to make things happen. But let me go ahead, get this dinner situated so that everybody can eat. It's almost 8 o'clock. So we're doing good on time. It's summer anyways. They, not, they haven't been going to bed on time anyways. I think only one out of three have taken a bath. Leah's the only one that took a bath. So I got to get the other two to get take a bath. Right now they're all just playing and I'm making dinner. So. It's latte time, you guys. I need it. <laughs> I don't have a 
one of those immersion blenders yet. So I just use my froster for my Nespresso. It works just as good for what I needed to do for my matcha. I use this brand. It's a really good brand and it's um, really good like on sugar and stuff. So I use this brand of oat milk. This is the extra creamy. And I'm just gonna pour it like if I was frothing cause I'm making like a, a latte. I'm almost out. And I can't find this everywhere. Like I can't find it at Walmart. I can't find it. I only find it at Target and sometimes I find it at Tonka. The matcha that I um, drink right now. But you guys, it's a cafe by me. They have. Yeah, teaspoon. I always have to double check. It's a teaspoon, not a tablespoon. They have some smooth matcha, you guys. It is so smooth. It tastes so good. To me, Starbucks matcha is not good. It's very bitter. In the cafe by me, the mom and pop shop, their matcha is so good. I usually get it with oat milk. And it is so good. And they sell their coffee there, but they don't sell their matcha. And I'd be like, man, I could really use if they had matcha i would buy their matcha but it needs one teaspoon of matcha so i just kind of stir put my top on it Put it on my frother, put it on warm, cause there's two settings on my frother. There's warm and then there's cold. Put it on warm. Matcha has a lot more benefits than coffee. So I've been trying to only have one. Sorry guys. I don't know if y'all seen other videos, but bath time in my house is choir time too. So everybody puts on a concert in the bathroom except me so especially especially my youngest he loves putting on concerts so he's in the bath right now so y'all are gonna hear his concert but yes have my cup right here what i like to use i have syrups i'm using the classic caramel but i also have a french vanilla back here but i haven't opened that one yet so i do about four pumps And then just pour my matcha over it, and it's the perfect latte for me. So oat milk, some syrup, it's good, you guys. Try it. Yes. I need to ask So good, you guys. So good. All right, guys. It is much later in the evening. I've already done my nighttime skincare. I'm like, I'm tired. I got a candle lit and I'm just laying here. Probably will watch something on TV. But I just wanted to wrap this up. I may pull it until tomorrow and show y'all what we do like for anniversary time but yeah and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like I have had on my mind to have a couples group and like to host a couples group and the more and more I just keep thinking about it like I just feel like our generation needs it and millennials I don't know if we were adequately prepared for everything that marriage entails and 
I just, I, I, I don't know. Talking to people and everything like that, like we could really use like a realistic support group. So I don't know, I'm gonna talk to my husband about it and I think it would be something good to kind of like start off this summer with and everything like that. So we'll see. Um, but it would be biblically based and basically like us really diving into the word and trying to teach each other. I know the older women are supposed to teach us us girls or as women but like teaching each other like what does this look like what is this you know communication and, and um, parenting and budgeting and goal setting all of this what does it look like so I hope you guys have a wonderful 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 rest of your week and I'm gonna see you guys later because I'm so tired guys my eyes are so heavy but <laughs> good night to where we're gonna eat dinner hopefully we can still get a table because it's late but we're trying a new place it's called anaya seafood so hopefully it's good you guys um i'm excited try new places it's really cute it would have been cute if um we could have sat outside but it started to rain and now it's stopped so we're gonna rush in and see if we can get food It was really good. I got some Parmesan crusted flounder and then on the way home It's like 1030 and we see a coffee shop and it's very rare to see coffee shops like in our area still open so I'm gonna try and see what they got because I Didn't eat too much of the dessert. Michael got a Tris Lich's cheesecake and it was I didn't get that. It wasn't all that good you guys so no, I'll go for some coffee it right was now. Not good. Anyways, let's get some coffee because it's our anniversary weekend and um, I'm trying to get Michael to watch this show called Lincoln Attorney. Lincoln Lawyer. Lincoln Lawyer, something like that. But I I started watching it um, when I was at the hair salon Hold on, you gonna watch a tonight? few weeks ago. You gonna be up playing your video game. Lies. Lies. I'm gonna go to sleep. An appropriate time. Anywho, guys, let's get in this coffee shop for they call. How you gonna judge me about playing the game and you wanna watch a show you gonna fall asleep on? I don't understand you. That's why I'm getting coffee. Lies. Alright guys, so I got the chai tea. Was it chai tea? You want to receive? It's the tiger tea with oat milk. Um, and it's really good. I got it 50% less sweet. It's different. I don't know how much caffeine it really got in it. But it tastes good. I don't know if they have them everywhere. It's called Magic Cup. So... <laughs> 